paraprofessional training guide set two. And first included are the table of contents. You can also download these in the preview. If you already have paraprofessional training manual one, this is going to extend and expand on some of those topics and give some new topics to work on. So they'd work really well together. You could even make one big manual. First up are some staff surveys, great to use throughout the year and already created. And then the first section is a general special education section that goes through acronyms and some legal issues. There's a take home message page included after each section. In the behavior section, we go way more in depth into what reinforcement is, what it isn't, how your language impacts our students, some ways to shift the language you utilize, token economy do's and don'ts, functions of behavior, star but replace it framework, and ABC data. So lots included in the behavior section. Next on academics, talking about the academic quick guide on really specifying how we are collecting data, a worksheet that paraprofessionals can fill out within the centers that they are providing instruction, how to utilize your data, and then can't do, won't do. In the last section, the independent section, we're really going into prompts and prompt fading and what that means. So discussing what prompts are, why they need to be faded, and then three different strategies for prompt fading. We have the prompt hierarchy and some examples, as well as these take home messages. And just like set one, we have the set two final assessment included. So you could make one massive resource or make this be kind of your set two for your paraprofessionals you've had a while or your ones that are really ready to learn more. And of course, an editable version is included so you can change anything needed.